Sagittarius, hello. Welcome to your weekly Love Connections WLT reading. Um, this would be for those of you who are wanting to get um, insights with regards to your love connections and you are particularly dealing with someone. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Uh, if you need information with regards to my personal readings, uh, tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to my extended reading, let's say for this reading I would extend it all the links and all the other information will all be in the description box below so go ahead and check them out if you're inclined alright so let's see what have we got for Sagittarius in love for this week Sagittarius and Moon Rising and Venus in love. You have the Palace of Cups, Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, the King of King of Swords, Three of Swords. Wow, the Hierophant, Knight of Cups. Another Hierophant, Faith. Um, Queen of Coins. Five of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have a Four of Swords. Rest and Recovery. Um, rejuvenation. Going to the spa. Or healing. Emotionally, mentally. Yeah. I feel that some of you... Or you, Sagittarius. You are... Taking care of yourself for now. You're taking care of yourself for now. You may have been hurt in the past. In your recent past, things may have been very tumultuous. And um, now you're taking time, taking care of yourself, resting. For some of you, you may even be sleeping more often than usual. L. And the healing is something to do with someone that you are deeply connected with. Mm -hmm. Coming in here, you have the Palace of Cups and the Four of Cups as the challenge. I feel you're doing your emotional check, stock check. Feeling the pain of um, the past. Um, trying to understand why you feel this much pain why you feel this much love for this person or why just trying to submerge yourself in you know in that um, which is not very much like a saggy it's more like a piscean energy i feel but this is not bad what i'm getting here is that now you are getting more in tune with your emotions with your feelings primarily because you may have rejected somebody in the past, yeah? You may have rejected that person, but it ended up that um, you realizing that why did you reject this person? And then now you are probably realizing that you may have missed an opportunity with that person. Mm -hmm. In as much as you are focusing on um, your emotions, trying to understand how you feel, your person or this person is just too much in their head too. They're just thinking and analyzing. For you, you are trying to feel um, and understand your emotion. For this person, it's like they are trying to analyze and analyze and analyze um, what has happened, why did this happen, and um, because of this, then the desired outcome may not uh, materialize. And they are worried, sick about it. They are stressed about it. At some point, I feel that um, they couldn't sleep at night thinking about this. It's analysis paralysis kind of energy where, you know, somebody will just keep on repeating the scenarios over and over in their head. And you're not getting anywhere. It's just in your head. You're just using some brain cells up there. And they wanted to communicate things with you. They want to be straightforward, but apparently they were not able to do that. 
they were not able to speak their truth they will not able, they were not able to express their thoughts and that's bothering them they feel that you are the three of swords they view you as the three of swords so this could be them viewing you as someone who betrayed them or that they have hurt you either way they could have hurt you and therefore now you are feeling betrayed but there's that element of betrayal yeah? or rejection It could be that they're seeing that, um, you know, you are the person who rejected them. And later on, you realized it's a missed opportunity. This person is learning from this cycle, Sagittarius. The person that you're dealing with, they are growing spiritually, I feel. There's double hierophant here. So it's more like learning from the um, past cycle, understanding what has happened in the past cycle. You could definitely be soulmates here, but you're teaching each other how to grow in this life. Yeah? And there's this very strong sense of wanting to commit. This person wants you to be committed or wants you and them to be in a committed relationship. And they're hopeful that somebody will come back or somebody will come forward and offer love, express emotions, express how you feel. Yeah? And they want you to have faith that this connection indeed is a deep connection. They want you to commit to them because they are already ready to commit. I know that's not a, a good equation to use, but you know, this person is, is open for commitment. And it feels like um, you may not be ready yet, but that is what they want from you to to step forward and um, be more committed they want to nurture this connection and um, the outcome that I see here is still that both of you are will still be having this conflicting idea both of you will still not be in um, the same page you know like if someone wants commitment and the other doesn't then that is indeed the five of wands energy you may be eyeing for being together, but then, you know, the um, you are still not in the same page. Let's go. Let's put it that way. You may be eyeing for the same outcome, but the way you do it, it's different. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, um, I feel like there's a lot of underlying, oh, there's a new start here. Oh, wow. Someone is getting attention from somewhere. Okay, and someone is left waiting. But let's see. I would, I would, um, I will clarify these cards and I would be extending this reading. If um, this reading resonates with you and you want to follow me in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. I'll also be pulling in more messages from the person that you're dealing with. I have this new deck that we could um, use. For this reading but meanwhile let me see what is going on with this connection why did you reject them or why now are you feeling that you miss an opportunity because I feel you're not sure about how you feel about this person but this person is pretty sure about you but what gave you what gave them the idea that, or how is it that they are viewing you as the Three of Swords, that you are hurt? Or this could be that you betrayed them. They feel betrayed, they feel hurt towards this connect, about this connection. Okay? You need not worry. Wow. There's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Oh, wow. Big sillies. You need not worry. So you may not know that this whether this person really loves you and probably that's the reason why you didn't really give full attention. All right, to this person. 
that there's nothing to worry about. Let's um, get you more messages, okay? Let's see, Sagittarius. What messages do we have from um, Sagittarius? Oops, that is pretty noisy. <laughs> I'll take that. You are irreplaceable. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. And then, there are still so many, many unsaid things between us. Definitely, if this is a challenge position, all these are from the person that you are dealing with. Definitely. I'd say that. Yeah. And I think communication is the key here. There needs to be a communication. You need to communicate um, or get this person to open up. Have that chance to hear this person out. Because who knows, you might just end up being married at the end of this reading. <laughs> okay, let's see. You've been in my dreams. Wow, ain't that great. Okay, I'm going to be extending this reading. Um, link will be in the description box below, and I will clarify the rest of the cards here. All right, let me know in the comment section how this resonates in your situation. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, as well as click on the notification bell. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.